Checkpoint Software dropping more than 14% after reporting third quarter results today. The cybersecurity provider's revenue rising 7% from a year ago, boosted by strong security subscriptions growth. But margins taking a hit as expenses rose. Joining me now is Checkpoint CEO Gil Schwid. Gil, let, let, let's start with the market's reaction. And, then, and I know you're probably going to tell me you don't pay too much attention to what the market engages just off the heels of this print. But I'm curious just what you think the market is missing in this report, given the fact that we are down nearly 15%. Uh, first, we do pay attention to the market, and I guess the market was expecting much more from us because we hit all our uh, financial goals and uh, all our projections, and I think we had pretty pretty good results for the quarter, but uh, our stock has run up uh, recently quite a lot, and I mm -hmm. guess the market was expecting even more. Yeah, and similar to what we're seeing and to some of the other names that are reporting this morning that aren't handedly or, or exceeding expectations maybe as much as the street had hoped given the run-up that we have seen in some of these stocks. Gil, let's talk about what you are seeing for the quarter, what you saw for the quarter, a record spike in cyber attacks. Give us an, an idea just of how big of a jump you are seeing and what that signals in, in terms of what's ahead. We definitely see that there is way more cyber attacks and not only more cyber attacks, they're getting more and more sophisticated. Um, over the past year, the number of cyber attacks has increased by 75% globally, 56% in the US. And again, it's not just the numbers, it's really the uh, sophistication of the attack. So it's pretty scary. And how, I guess, then how difficult does it make it to detect? Does it make it to alert these attacks, given the degree of difficulty, challenging, how complicated some of these attacks are getting? First, the challenge is not to detect. Detect is not enough. The challenge is to prevent or stop the attacks from getting into the organization. It is not easy that the new generation of attacks, we call it the fifth generation of cyber attacks, are very hard to detect. They usually go into an organization move inside, take over the organization, and then create their uh, damage, uh, whether it's ransomware or stealing information, which in many cases is even unknown. We don't even see it. So it's pretty hard to uh, to stop these attacks. So we saw 75% increase year over year in terms of the record spike in cyber attacks. In terms of your projections of what that number could look like a year from now, are we talking about another ballooning figure? Well, it's been growing quite significantly over the past few years. Um, I don't know if I can predict it will grow or not. What I definitely know is that we need to stand and uh, and stop that. We need to uh, to prevent these attacks. It requires a lot of thinking. It requires more coordinated approach by security vendors, both within the same vendor and maybe sometimes even between different security vendors. And it also required the customers to deploy the latest uh, security uh, defense technologies. The role of AI, Gil, how big a role is, is, is that playing in, in, in your process right now? And it, is it almost a double-edged sword when it comes to the fact that it could help, but it's also making some of these attacks very sophisticated and I would think harder to detect? It's, you are absolutely right. The AI is a double-edged sword. At one end, it makes it far easier for uh, anyone to be an attacker. AI can write code, and I can write phishing emails. AI can do a lot of things that before required more expertise. On the same time, for us as people who defend and build the future of cybersecurity, AI is an amazing tool. If security analysts require to analyze a lot of data and find different patterns, AI can do it in a much better way. AI can program new defense methods. So, I mean, AI can definitely be of great help for us who develop uh, and operate security systems. And Gil, there's been some reporting and some discussions really from other uh, the executive leaders within your industry talking about that skills gap that maybe we are seeing in cybersecurity as the industry grows just so tremendously here over the last couple of years. Is AI bridging that gap? Or talk to us, I guess, about the fact that maybe that could help at least uh, as we try to get a more skilled workforce? Absolutely. There is a lot of talk about skill shortage. There's been talking about millions of uh, employees that are missing in uh, cyber, and many, many of them can be replaced or augmented by AI agent, which will exactly do that job. Uh, analyze different records, find patterns of attacks, act, by the way, work 24-7. We as human beings, we can't work 24-7. The AI agent can. So I think AI can help bridge the gap and make the human do more human-like work of defining the policies, ensuring that the system works, uh, dealing with tough situation rather than the day-to-day -day work of either configuring systems or 
going through a lot of attack data. Gil, when it comes to the election, just one week out from today here in the U.S., the election cyber risk, I know it's something that you're tracking. What is your data showing you there? We're definitely seeing more involvement and more attacks on the election situation. There's been things that are we are less involved, like fake information and so on, that being generated by AI. But there's been a lot of other attacks. I mean, we've heard reports about mobile phone of uh, the leading candidates for U.S. presidents being hacked. Uh, it's, it's scary. I mean, absolutely. I mean, the fact that uh, uh, hackers can get all the way down to the heart of our systems is something that we should uh, elevate the level of security we use. By the way, mobile security is a good example because uh, almost no one is using mobile security software in the world. It exists. People don't use it. Mm, that's a great point. Gail Schwad, we hope to have you back again soon. Congratulations on the quarter. CEO of Checkpoint. Thanks so much, Gail. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.